Hello guys, uh, welcome to Tech Design. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how we can make this uh, bottle using a surface modeling workbench in Unigraphics. So let us uh, start this by going to new file. I'm just going to new file and uh, you can give the whatever the name you required here and click OK. So now what I will do is I will just uh, go to and uh, plane so I'm just going to uh, make some of the uh, planes here so around uh, seven to eight planes so what I'll do is I'll just go to at distance and I'll select this plane uh, at distance of 50 and the number of planes should be four so I'm making four uh, datum planes with a distance of 50 so and you can click OK now I'm having four uh, planes, so I'll just create uh, some more planes. So one more plane from here, it is only one number with a distance of 30. So click apply and uh, one more with uh, 10 mm, click apply and another one with by mm. okay so these are the planes which we use to make a bottle so first what I will do is uh, I'm going to sketch a moment on this plane base plane so as you go to this, this plane and I will just create an ellipse here so go to select ellipse and select this as a center point and give the measure rate as a 75 and uh, 45 or oh, before going 75 by 2 okay and 45 by 2 now finish the sketch and go to the sketch element again and select the second plane and now I'll just give one more ellipse on this plane at the center point now, now my name major will be 100 by 2 and 60 by 2 click OK and the finish the sketch similarly I'm just going to make it on another two planes now go to the ellipse again oops center point and again this is uh, 50 by 30 okay and finish it now go to sketch element on this plane now what I will do is I will do by 60 by 2 this is 60 by 2 that is 30 and uh, 35 by 2 okay so finish the sketch now on these four planes I'm just going to create a uh, circles on this plane it is a circle with a diameter of 25 finish the sketch and select again the top of that plane click OK and here it is diameter and finish the sketch okay now again this plane it is circle with a diameter of 35 and finish the sketch now at the end we have a circle with 22 diameter okay now we, as you can see here there are a series of uh, sketches here what I will do is I'll just go to surface command and uh, swept uh, sorry it's not a swept it is three curves 
so go to through curves and start selecting one by one reverse the direction again reverse the direction reverse reverse Okay. Now it is actually in a solid condition, so let us make it a sheet and click OK. As you can see here, this bottle outer shell is ready. So let us hide all these uh, planes. It is not required if we need it, is useful. Now let us hide this sketch as well. And now what I will do is I will just uh, fill the bottom post. So for that what we will do is we'll just go to the bounded plane. So insert surface bounded plane and select the bottom edge and it will be filled. So now what I will do is I will just uh, as you can see here uh, our uh, outer shell is ready. Now let us make an extrude here with a 15 mm. Let the outer edge and make it as a surface sheet with 15 extrude. Okay. okay. Now you can see here this is the separate sheet and this is separate sheet as well as the bottom is separate sheet. So let us make it as a single sheet by using CU command. So select the primary sheet and press all the sheets. So it will become single sheet now. So what I will do is I will just make a, I'm going to do some profile on this uh, surface. So for that I'm just going to sketch an element on this plane, middle plane. And, uh, let us make some profile. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, make half and then mirror it. Let us do fillet for this. This fillet is around 9 mm. And now this arc is uh, the radius of 1 third, 110. So let us give 110. Okay. And this is 20. Okay. And this. Uh, point should lie on this line so I'm just giving constraint putting point on line now this should be tangent so let us give a tangency between these two okay and also this point should lie on this line so let us give point on our line okay now this point should also lie on this now what I will do is I will just give the dimension between these two, this it is 120, okay and between this point to this point it is 18 mm. This line is 45 by 2. Okay. Now, as you can see, the sketch is fully constrained. Let us mirror it. So, go to mirror section, and the center line is this. Okay. Now, we have the complete profile. So, let us finish this. And as you can see here, uh, my sketch is on the middle of the plane. So I'm just going to change the shade. Okay, this is my sketch and this is my surface. So I'm just going to uh, project this 
so go to project curve in the curve section so i'm just selecting this curve and my body will be on this and the vector will be on this so it is already projected on the other side so let us make it as reverse direction and it is projected now so i'm just just uh, ending the side as you can see here this line is projected so now what i will do is i will just uh, create a plane here on on this line okay and this line is always uh, perpend perpendicular to the this curve let us create okay and once we go inside the sketch select this plane click ok now what we'll do is we'll just uh, make uh, an arc here so this arc with a diameter of 3 mm Okay, and uh, now we'll go to intersection point. So you can see here intersection point, intersection of these. So it will create a point. Now I wanted to make this circle and this coincidence. So it is already in coincide. You don't need to do it again. It is already at the point. So uh, now what I will do is I will just finish the sketch. You can make a half circle as you can see here more than half and click finish. Now let us hide this it is is not required this plane and now I will go to surface command with a set. So in this uh, the section curve will be this one the guide will be this. As you can see here, uh, this is uh, swept. Click OK. Now, what I will do is I will just uh, mirror the same feature on the other side. So, mirror feature. Select uh, this swept. Mirror plane will be this. Now, if you see on the other side, it will be mirrored. Now, what I will do is I have to trim this sheet so let us go to surface and trim sheet select this sheet and uh, this sheet it should be discarded click apply so as you can see here it is discarded now this extra portion should be deleted click apply on the same way i'm just going to do on this side as well Okay, on the same way, this side, this is my sheet to remove by using this sheet. Apply. Now, this extra portion should be deleted. And now, let us select again the this extra portion okay now as you can see here it is uh, deleted a slot is, it is something like a slot so just hide this projected curve okay now what I will do is I will just uh, sieve this everything so let us go to surface and sieve command and select everything and sieve it now it's time to give an edge blend so let us go to my edge blend here give 2 mm edge blend here as well as here and then 
here as well as here. Okay. Now on this side it is let us give an explain here. Let us give file. Click apply. The bottom side also we need to give the explain. This is 10 mm. Okay. Oh is enough I think okay now our uh, bottle is almost ready we are left with only the text over here so for that what you have to go is uh, go to curves and select a text here uh, before going to that uh, you need to draw one curve so that uh, it will be easy for us so let us go to uh, and just draw one curve line this center point to this yeah, finish the sketch and just project it project curve I'm going to select this uh, sketch should be projected down this and the direction is this so let us make it in a reverse direction click OK okay this curve is required for the text so now let us go to text this should be on face select this face and a placement on a curve this curve as you can see here test is appearing uh, now if you want you can change the the text height and everything whatever you want and click ok this will be coming here so this is what uh, the surface modeling uh, bottle Please subscribe to my channel and uh, share my videos as well as support me. Thank you.